what's goody my gamers my fellow friends my florenzians what's popping what's crack a lacking okay enough enough of the small talk um are you ready to dive into elite avery with me are you really ready do you do you think you have what it takes to enter this place of darkness and death okay no no really um this this place is ridiculously crazy guys i'm just letting you know now i spent eight hours in it today it was not what i was expecting at the same time it was what i was expecting but it really is quite the elite dungeon so uh before i continue i just want to let you know that there are a lot of spoilers in this video so if you do not want to see these spoilers if you want to find out everything in the dungeon for yourself yeah you better x out of this video sorry this video is not for you anyways now that we have that out of the way and sorted out um i just want to give a quick explanation of what this dungeon really is about because some people they just they don't know they just think it's some kind of stupid ass dungeon well here here's the gist of it this dungeon it covers levels 90 to 100 and yes they have level 100s in this dungeon um i didn't really expect that to happen but uh what can you do but to to let you guys know there there are level 100s in here but you cannot reach level 100 the the level cap was not increased so sorry sorry to bum you guys out but that's that's not happening if you guys were expecting anything new um new as in like new items new new weapons new new armor in general well you you're in luck but you're also not in luck and by that i mean there are some new weapons but they're not what you would expect like i expected some level 97 weapons to be to be dropped who it would be amazing if they did do that but that's not the case let's just say they added some more level 89 weapons to the dungeon itself they aren't really special they're just pretty much like the green name weapons that you drop all over flow uh you i know you guys have seen this before if you play flow obviously you you'll notice that certain weapons have different color names uh based on how special they are so if you see a green name you know it's pretty it's pretty good it's obviously better than the, the blue named npc weapons and then uh you got the golden ones the golden name weapons that are ridiculously powerful and they usually tend to be the most special weapons other than the recipe weapons of course so yeah whatever level 97 weapons everybody was expecting including me we got severely disappointed <laughs> yeah sad to say but um that doesn't mean we're not totally in in the downfall because level 93 armors are now available so with that being said we weren't entirely disappointed which is a good thing but at the same time everyone's been expecting the 93 armor correct i mean if you're a smart person you you think that there are level 90 mobs in this dungeon 90 to 100 so something level 90 has to drop because if something doesn't drop that's level 90 then it's just dumb what's the point of going in the dungeon in the first place you know what i'm saying so you know it's good it's good that we got the armor um as for accessories there's i haven't seen any new accessories yet uh as far as i'm concerned the accessories are exactly the same as they were in the last dungeon uh elite mines so there's really not much difference there but that doesn't mean we can't have faith though because maybe somewhere down the line they'll put in some higher level equipment like weapons and stuff like that and accessories i would look forward to that and um you know hopefully they they, they listen to us and agree <laughs> but that's flow that's all flow uh, flow is not really that they slow they take too long they they <sighs> whatever anyways it's time to get the mob list going so here are the mobs that are in this dungeon uh here here are their levels and i'm not going to uh do what the site did because what they did was they literally provided the math for all the xp gains you if you if you want to do that yourself you know <laughs> add up some xp figure out how much xp is going to take you all to get from 97 to 98 I, I don't care i'm not your math teacher you can you can do that on your own but um 
I think it's a good good thing that they they put it on the site. They give the XP and stuff like that. So you might want to check that out. As you can see here, all of the bosses, every single mob that exists in regular Avery, is in Elite Avery. Everything. Everything. That includes Robinson. Okay, the craziest badass ever. Well, I, I've seen better, but he he's he's up there. He's he's up there. So, if, if, if you plan on taking on these bosses, you might, you might need a, a big party. And that, that's advice from me. Take, take the advice. Because if, if, you, if you don't have a party, a good party, or maybe uh, two parties, maybe three, four, five, ten, twenty, you're, you're going to die. A painful and miserable death. It will be so bad you might actually quit the game and never come back. So, yeah bosses themselves are annoying just like the regular ones yeah they're, they're that bad and i'm pretty sure their skills are like even worse than the regular ones obviously come on it's elite avery what do you expect you know just i'm not gonna ruin ruin the entire thing for you i'm just gonna tell you that every single mob in this dungeon has a skill and even the mobs that didn't have skills in the old dungeon, they, they do now. So you're, you're gonna have to be careful. You're gonna have to watch it. I'm gonna I'm gonna be an asshole right now and tell you that one of the mobs, I'm not gonna tell you which one, but one of them can stun you for a good nine seconds. Well, it's ten because it says nine up there, but it's really ten seconds. A ten second stun. So you know what's gonna happen when you mob more than one of them? Or you take on you decide to take on ten? Yeah, you, you, good luck with that. You, you're gonna die just just to give you a heads up so keep an eye out when you're when you're going through the dungeon and you're fighting these mobs these monsters you, you gotta be careful okay you, you gotta take it easy take it easy now go slow take it step by step because if you don't you're going to die and another thing listen the top three floors well actually no it, it's it apparently i just found out that it's a basement the entire thing is just it goes on the ground i honestly thought it was was like a mansion you know but okay whatever it's 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 a basement right so the, the bottom three floors right you be careful <laughs> i'm giving you caution the levels increase based off a of floor so once you get up to these high levels like for example there's this level 90 98 right here that i'm fighting the 98 does ridiculous damage to me because i'm 95 it does like 3 3k so if if you have low hp make sure you at least have a friend with you or try to have a friend with you at all times because you're not going to survive if you don't this this dungeon is meant for party play it, it's not really meant for solo play i mean you could you could do solo play but remember this is elite right it's 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 specifically meant to make sure that you stay in a party so you could survive that that's all there is to it you stay in a party you survive you finish everything you're done that's it which brings me to another point i have to make flow all these staff members have been posting uh crap about like they're gonna increase the party xp they're gonna make it so that way it's worth it to level in parties well just to let them know um it's it's it, I'm, I'm i'm waiting I, i'm waiting I do not see anything. I see nothing at all. Where, where is my party XP? Where, where is the the fun? You know, this dungeon. Yeah, we level in parties. It's it's actually fun that way, right? But Florenzi is a community game, and they still have it so that way solo play is is the better route to take. Until you hit elite dungeon, that's when it's like, oh yeah, let's get to a party. But as far as I'm concerned. The first 80 levels of flow, you're, you're just doing nothing with anyone. You're, you're just by yourself. The only time you're with somebody is when you're when you're trying to do a boss. And that's really all I got to say. Flow needs to step their game up with that. Anyways, moving on. I have another hint to give y'all. This dungeon has a lot of quests. A ton. And by that, I mean, it really does have a ton. There are quests for every single level from 90 all the way to 99. Yeah, even 99 has quests, which I guess is kind of cool. But at the same time, what's the point in doing them since you already hit max level? You're going to be going to what? 99 and 100%? You won't even move up. But what I'm trying to say is 
the quests themselves, even though they, they're pretty hefty in, in uh, killing ranges, by that I mean like you need 100 kills or you need 30 kills or I don't know, 300 kills. Even so, doing these quests will be the fastest way to level up. That's really the best hint I can give. Because you move up from one quest to the next quest to the next quest to the next and you just keep gaining XP. I did I did a quest earlier. Uh, it was what, kill 30 shrine guards and kill 30 of the, of the ones with the shields, right? And I got like 5%. 5% XP. That's pretty good. Also, the quests will get done super quick if you're in a party. I mean, that 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 should be very very obvious to you guys. The more people you you have, the the faster you kill, and then the faster you kill, the faster you get your quest done. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, SpongeBob style. What you got to do is, you got to get a get a party of different people. But by, by different people, I mean different classes. You need to have like a healer, you need to have a damage dealer, you need to have a tank. Well, sometimes you really don't need a tank if you have a, a, a high HP explorer or a high HP same whatever. But the good thing about this dungeon is that just like the other two dungeons, this dungeon, it declares a sort of rule. As in, you will, you will be very successful if you have different classes in your party. That's a pretty standard rule for any MMORPG. The more more diversity you have, the easier it'll be to to um, you know get ahead. So that's pretty straightforward. Now let's double back to the armors for a second. The level 93 armors that I say drop, uh, they do drop. Yes, uh, they're they're kind of rare, but they're not that rare. They're pretty much the same drop rate as the level 85 ones in the old dungeons. So it's not that bad. What I really want to talk about is how you're going to upgrade these armors <laughs> yeah the armors themselves they they require grade one upgrade stones right luckily this dungeon drops grade one upgrade stones they just aren't as uh they don't drop as frequent so you're gonna have to farm for a while to get some i was online for eight hours today in the avery dungeon just chilling recording this video and I only managed to get what three upgrade stones that to me that's not really enough I mean I do know that you know the vision of loot in the party that that was a thing so a lot of people got upgrade stones more than me so yeah maybe it is easier solo to get the upgrade stones because then you would have more for yourself but it, it'll be tough to actually start stacking up on them if you if you if you're trying to upgrade your armor you're gonna need to start stacking up on them I'm just letting you know because I'm trying to upgrade my armor. I want to get that plus 493. But yeah, I have I have a lot I have a lot of farming to do. So hopefully that, that goes my way. That brings me to one more point about the armors. This is what Florenzia posted in their patch notes. As you clearly see, it says that there are CC items. You know what that means? Class change. Class change armors, my friends. Well, then again, I could be wrong. Maybe it's class change weapons that they're talking about. I don't know. So what I really want you guys to do is I want you to go into that dungeon and I want you to farm all you can and see what drops that is class change. Because I'm really curious. The fact that they're dropping class change items in this dungeon, it's just, it's mind blowing. And that makes me happy. But at the same time, I don't know if it's true or not. Could they be lying? Could they be telling the truth? We're just gonna have to keep playing to find out. I mean, I'll be playing for a while. I mean, this this is fun for me. Avery Dungeon, you already know how it is. I'm gonna get that level 99 real quick and then switch characters. Oh look, it's, it's Robbie. Well, there, there he is, the destructive, overprotective, pain in the ass, stupid, crappy boss that we all love and hate at the same time. Yeah, well, like I said, guys, for bosses, especially this one, he's level 100. Don't, don't, don't do something stupid. Don't, oh my God, Lang, D don't do what Lang just did, because 
yeah lang just got destroyed i i, I feel so bad i'm i'm so sorry <sighs> Just make sure you bring at least three parties to deal with this guy because you're going to have to deal with the boss and the mobs. That's that's my last bit of advice for you because cause he's a big bad wolf. Anyways, thanks for watching my video guys. Um, I guess I'll just see you on the game.